So hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install Cherish OS version 5.3 based on Android 14.5 my 11x Redmi K4 with the Poco F3. So the prerequisites are you need to unlock your bootloader and you must stay on the latest version of MIUI. Go ahead into password and security and remove all your passwords. And then head into Google and remove all your Google accounts. And you must have these two files in your internal storage. You must have the ROM downloaded and TWRP pre-installed. Once all of them is done, we can head into TWRP for installing the ROM. Power off your phone. And then press power and volume up button. Once your recovery is booted, we can head into wipe, advanced wipe and then clear the Dalvik card cache. Once that is done, you can go back, head into install, head into downloads and then install your firmware and check automatically the flash TWRP. The firmware is linked in the description of the video. Once the firmware is installed, you can head back and then click on the ROM and then now check automatically the flash TWRP so that the TWRP is flashed after the ROM is being flashed. Now you can swipe to confirm flash. So once the ROM is installed, check if the recovery is installed properly. And yes, the recovery has been flashed. Now go to home, press reboot and then click on recovery. So now once your recovery has booted successfully, head into wipe. That was just a glitch and now head into format data and then type in yes. This will result in wiping out all your pictures data stored in your mobile. So once the format data is successful you can reboot into the system. Pay for your ROM to boot. So here we go our ROM is booted successfully now we can head into setup. So here we go, the ROM is booted. The 5G is working. Let's head into the ROM and check the Android version. It's Cherish OS 5.3 based on Android 14. The kernel version they're using is no kernel and the latest security patch was February 5th, 2024. Now let's head into Cherish settings. We have a good UI for the settings app. Under the status bar we have network traffic monitor. It shows the speed of the current network. We have status bar icons, we can we can choose what can stay or add new the strength of your call. You can keep the clock either at left, right or you run you choose not to keep it. We have a 4G symbol. You can also adjust brightness control in the status bar. It's gonna be here. We can enable our data usage and then under themes we have we can, we can choose the dark theme or light theme. It's currently in dark theme. Actually I prefer the dark theme more. And then we have QS panel styles. We can we can change our QS panel. Let's try some more. Yeah, this one's better. Choose the we can we can change icons separately for every and every the every icons in the QS panel under buttons. We can we can keep it as three three button navigation or swipe we like gesture and the animations uh oh that's not loading. 
let's get back to it later now let's head into the log screen we have pulse that shows the that shows us the graphs of our song be music being played in the background we have fingerprint authentication vibration and charging info double tap or lock screen to put the device sleep and under power menu we have we can edit we can disable all these we don't need them and let's just keep advanced restart under advanced restart i think we have system recovery and bootloader that's nice and let me say yes we have unlimited photos for google storage you can store unlimited photos in the google storage and that is all now let's go ahead and check the geekbench score of this rom on this device So here we go. We got a single code of thousand one thirty eight and a multi code of three thousand one thirty eight. That's pretty good. And let's now run the OpenSeal score. So here we go. We've got a OpenSeal score of three thousand three ninety three. That's pretty good for this ROM. See so if you enjoyed watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.